Hey guys, I'm here to ex this is Diablo929 here to explain torrents, bit torrents, torrent clients with the Mac. I'm going to explain everything and this is all using a Mac. So if you're not using a Mac, so don't use this. Don't watch this video. Now, first thing you need in a bit torrents or whatever is a bit torrent client, something that will hold all your downloads and you want to go to www.views.com I already brought it up and once you uh, log on to the site you'll see download client it already knows what computer you're using so you just click download client and it says Mac and after you download it you really don't have to open it up yet but you can to get used to it and to get familiar with it once you download it you have completed the BitTorrent client part now to get anything you want on your computer from applications to games to movies to music well I wouldn't recommend doing music with torrents because Mus these files are big and I just wouldn't do music but you could do video applications games and other whatever now this website is called the piratebay.org and when you when it starts it shows up like this and you type in whatever you want let's say I want iLife for my Mac I live 08. Click Pirate Search. It will load. Now here's the most difficult part of choosing: is looking at the cedars and the leechers. The cedars are the people who upload the file for you and give you the file. The leechers are the guys who take it. If there are more leechers than cedars you will never be able to complete the file that you're downloading so let's say this one is a very good one applications Mac mm -hmm. Cedars 275 leechers 9 so this would go fairly fast may take a couple days because it's a big file 3.5 gigs and to download just click this and if you're using Firefox you want to click open with and then choose views and once you've done that it will if you do that with Firefox it will automatically go to your views thing but if you're using Safari it should show up on your desktop and its icon should be the views frog this guy is the views frog double click it and it will add the downloads to your thing so I'm going to open up my views. It's going to take a while because I didn't open it and it's going to load. Hey, I'm back. And once you open it up, your download, well, make sure you're on dashboard and your downloads will be in the downloads tab. And as you see, I've downloaded some. Um, now, if you're going to be downloading like me, with you're going to be downloading a bunch of games and movies and stuff and programs like applications, you want to go to File, Plugins, Installation Wizard, click it, Buy List from SourceNet, SourceForge.net. Next. Now you'll see a bunch of stuff up here, and if you're going to be downloading movies and games and applications like like me, you will have to go down and look for a a plugin called Safe Peer. S A F E P E E R. Click the box next to it and click next then it will download and install 
That is to block people from anti-piracy groups and stuff, like the RIAA, from scanning your IP address and reading your crap. And that is really everything to BitTorrents. If you have any questions or comments, please ask and say, and please rate. Thank you. This has been a Diablo 9209 production showing you how to work and use torrents and BitTorrent clients. And remember to subscribe and request vids on Mac. I do Mac tutorials. Just ask and I will do.